Okay, so Adams wanted a word. So I'm gonna go have a word. Command, good news on the installation of that thermal pipe you got us. I went right, brilliant. Much better than we expected. I told you it would. It gets better. While interfacing through our ESO capacitors, our Miss Daniels here had an epiphany. I wouldn't go that far. She and Donnelly deduced some theoretical improvements to our capacitor design. Edie and I ran with it and documented our conclusions. Our core is too compact to apply our theories, but it could help the crucible engineers. Give the word and they'll send the plans their way. Do it. Aye, aye. Well done, everyone. Nice. Um, next, don't bend that way. <laughs> Sometimes keeping the grid balanced is pure murder. All propulsion systems are running optimal. Mm, yippity. What do I have on this level? Diana, Adams, Dolly. chair or something you know in the old days they didn't have automatic cameras reporters had to cake on the makeup okay crew deck Chocolate's Kaden Garrus Jack. I find using my biotics to toss someone across the room is a decent attention grabber. <laughs> yes, but it's also a good way to draw enemy fire. Well, you can handle yourself in a fight now, Liara. I mean, not that your biotics weren't impressive the first time we met. I have had my fair share of opportunities to use them these past few years. Well, I'm glad you got through in one piece. Sounds like you have a few stories to tell. Breathing Prothean right below me. He's not what I expected. Me neither. He was a little cold when I tried to talk. I understand the shock of waking up again. His species gone. But a Prothean Shepherd. There's so much he could tell us. Okay there. Thank you for the data packet. Tarvik's got a fan. Not here again. You, he's like never around. Hey, yep, he's not here. Okay then. I kind of like that they move around the ship. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. It's a lot more realistic. It would help all involved if you could barter a trade of medical supplies with the Citadel refugees. Speak to Tactus. You should be able to find him near the docks. Alright, I'm doing something, aren't I? I don't know, Edie. Everybody was fighting the Rachni. Oh my god. Trying to push them back through the relay. Finally, the Krogan were turned loose and stopped them. I see. But when the Krogan rebelled, we had to deploy the Genophage to stop them. Wasn't the only rebellion. A thousand years later, the Geth revolted against the Quarians. That was a whole other war. 
Then along came the humans, my own people tangled with them for a while, and now, to top it all off, we've got the Reapers. What about you? The Ouroboros fought the Densorin. The Andoromai conquered the Vanduma, and the Jatil turned against the Jar. So, I guess nobody really ever gets their act together. <laughs> the Sinriel claimed to have found the path to eternal peace. What happened? The Ditaka preferred war and wiped them out. I hope you guys had alcohol. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Some of the crew seem shocked by the monstrosities we have encountered. They haven't seen what the Reapers could corrupt after a hundred years. That was our war. Every battle conjured a new nightmare. Samara's the kind of soldier we need in this war. Nothing gets in her way. I just hope I'm not in her way someday. That woman means business. <laughs> sure does. I wonder if I'll find them playing cards one day. Or whatever this is. Skillion Blitz. It's a brilliant tactic, when you think about it. But right. it's evil. When has that ever mattered in war? Yeah, but... Converting other life forms into reapers? I can't wrap my head around that. Makes sense to me. It ensures you never run out of cannon fodder. <laughs> Eliminates any local resistance. And for every soldier you add, your enemy loses two. The one you converted, and his buddy on the other side who can't pull the trigger on a friend. You sound like you admire them. Same way I admire a virus or a thresher maw. They've adapted perfectly to their situation. But the Reapers want to destroy us. And I have no intention of letting them. But if you don't respect your enemy's capabilities, you're in for one nasty surprise after another. Karis is cool. So cool. I support nothing's in there. Well, I might be surprised, actually. Maybe I'll find somebody making out one day. Nope, nothing. Oh, it's James. Oh, okay. Well, we can do that. James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. On my way. Hey, man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. <laughs> wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. <laughs> you just come up here to make fun of your commander. Sorry, love. I guess... Maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or...? Did you think about it before accepting? I'm a soldier, Vega, and I wanted to be the best damn soldier I could be. It doesn't get better than N7. So I hear. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. I allowed to kick my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings. Then the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike. But before we could, we were betrayed. 
One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collector ship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yep. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There is not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Mm-hmm. Only you can make that decision, James. But I think you already know the answer. I'm glad you think so. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here, it's a little too soft for me. <laughs> the bed's a lot harder than it looks. Are you flirting with me, Lola? I'm going, I'm going. Thanks again, Shepard. Anytime. Well, I guess it's time for the sit down. Okay, we're on the sit down, got all dressed up. Better not be for nothing. <laughs> there we go. Surprise this place can still get supplies for a menu like this. <laughs> Maybe it's better if we don't ask how or where. I'm glad we're taking the time to do this. I could use a sanity check. Things have been pretty crazy. It's an N7. You know, my life <laughs> in front of my eyes on Mars. And there weren't enough moments like this. With people I care about. How are you feeling these days? Feeling up to whatever the Reapers throw at me. And grateful that I convinced you to sit down for half a second and relax. Yeah. I think it's a good time for us to have a heart to heart. What are you drinking? <laughs> if you're trying to butter me up, it might take a nice steak sandwich, too. So? Shot of whiskey and a. Good old Canadian lager. Think they have it? More likely to have Batarian shard wine. At my parents' place in Vancouver, <laughs> drank more than a few beers on their balcony looking over English Bay. Yeah. Beautiful view. You know what, though? I feel good about our chances. Yeah? What? Yeah. Lets me sleep better at night. You're not sleeping, Caden? Maybe a little restless. The war isn't the only thing keeping me up at night. I wonder about us. Us. I love you, Shepard. I always have. I want to understand what this is between us. And make it real. <laughs> That's what I want. What do you want? Hmm. I can't bury what I feel for you anymore. And I don't want to. And that makes me so happy. <laughs> well, Jesus and smiles when he to that happiness. <laughs> but more on that later. Later. We need to get back to the Normandy ASAP. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, too late. Our drinks are here, and I'm gonna take my time. What you call it? A sanity check. Mm. Sanity check. Oh, that was cute. Okay. Well, I gotta go change again and do a whole bunch of Citadel side missions. So I don't think I'm gonna record that part. And then... Unless something interesting comes up. So... later. I need a couple of hours of footage. You're not... Wait, aren't you Commander Shepard? <laughs> Solik Vaz, documentary maker. Please, maybe you can help. 
I'm trying to document the stories of the refugees coming to the Citadel. Their loss, their sacrifices, their moments of bravery. Something holding you back? CSEC won't allow me on the docks. They say I'd be disruptive, but you could catch a few quick shots for me. There are lots of refugees on the rest of the Citadel. It, it won't have the same impact as seeing crowds trapped on the docks. We all need to help each other. I want this documentary to shock people into action. All right. Good idea. The galaxy should see what these refugees have been through. Thank you, Commander. That's exactly what I'm hoping for. If you could just take a few shots with your Omni tool in the refugee camp. I'll be here when you're done. So what am I doing? Ugh, way not to pay attention. Film director is looking for use film footage on the Citadel. Find footage on the Citadel. Uh. Tactus James Cortez. I'll oh, check it. Photo opportunity activate. Cortez, hold on. Yes, that's just what this documentary needs. Are you okay? I've just been standing here holding this for I don't know how long. It'll always be a part of me. Your past is yours. No one can take that away. Bye, Robert. I'm glad you came. A little, little pat pat here, pat pat there. Uh, I like the I like Cortez. He's a nice guy. Yeah, no. Batarian State Arms, defending the hegemony. Assault rifle piercing mod. Shotgun, shotgun. Hey, it's James, but is it getting a tattoo? James? Commander, what brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. Well, after our little chat, I made up my mind. I'm gonna join the N7 program. Nice. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but, you know, I figure with you as my training officer, how could I fail? Right? I'm flattered. But I wouldn't exactly say I'm training you. Not officially, but what the hell is in this goddamn war? <laughs> I'm just saying, whether you like it or not, you're my direct superior and you're N7. So I take my lead from you, and you know, I'll take whatever advice you got. Really? Sure. The good advice. Don't take this lightly, Vega. I'm not, and I won't. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously, but when I commit to something, I fully commit. Clearly. Hey, I won't let you down. The only person you need to prove yourself to is the one standing in the mirror every morning. Good point. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Always. Hey, maybe we should get magic. You want me to get an N7 tattoo? N7? Sure. <laughs> or you could get my name done. Somewhere special. You're such a tease, Vega. Who, me? 
you ever gonna make good on all this flirting? Hey, what? Uh, I was just. I didn't mean to. You know. Yeah. I was just. <laughs> That's what I thought. Later, Lieutenant. Later. Ah! Careful! Commander Shepard. And you must be Tactus. Heard the refugees consider you their leader. Yes. Someone needs to sort out this mess. CSEC has tightened access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. I also hear you need basic medical supplies. Dr. Chakwis spoke of a mutually beneficial trade. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. Trust is a hard thing to come by these days. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. Your people need our supplies, and my people need every edge we can get. Your combat-grade meds will make a difference. And our mission may just save everyone. Now's not the time for pettiness or mistrust. Yeah. With our day-to-day -day worries, uh, it's easy to forget we are all in this together. I'll have my people contact yours. You'll have your supplies as soon as possible. Good man. Personality matrix can predict what the real Commander Shepard would say with 7% accuracy. I come pre installed with an SSV Normandy flight sim. Got any pets? You look like a Varen person. <laughs> hey, I've assumed full control of Eclipse, and we're committed to moving forward with Ari. Is that it? Am I done? Listen, please, we just need more food. I can give you the location of some ruins. Prothean ruins on Gay Hinnom in the Hades Nexus. If you could get past the Reaper patrols, I'm sure you'd find something valuable. Nice. It's got to be worth something. Please, my family is sorry. Oh, there you go. Any more camera shots? There's one there. On my way. I have your footage. Thank you, Commander. I'll start editing it right away. Perfect. Bar. Is there anything going on there? Let's go check it out.
recovered some texts from a library in Reaper-controlled space. I can have them waiting for you at Bay D-24 if that would help. Really? Oh, damn. It couldn't hurt. Thank you. Hmm, nice. Nice! Aria, ED, and Joker. Oh, there you go, just sitting down today. Oh, check this guy out. <laughs> the banner of the first regiment. That should put some steel in their spine. Nice. That scene. Hey, Commander. I was just about to get us another round. So, looks like you two are having fun. Yes. Joker has been smiling and laughing at a significantly higher rate since he and I agreed upon a relationship. I mean, he is happier. It seemed like you two might make a good match. I was not so certain. When I first presented his body to Jeff, he seemed aloof. Really? What did Joker say? He said I didn't have to conform to some feminine ideal in order to impress him. I then called him on his bullshit, and we then proceeded to talk normally. After your encouragement, his attitude exhibited signs of change. He said he was reluctant, but you convinced him to go for it. I might have helped a little. I see. Thank you for your support, Shepard. This is proving to be an illuminating experience. Illuminating, hey. I always thought this place would be cool if it didn't involve so much walking. If you're in pain, I could carry you. Fast. <laughs> 